Girls. Welcome, my dear again. Today, I'm here to talk to you about conservation of our wetlands. As you all know, uh, recently we had a rise in the water levels in Lake Victoria, our biggest water body in the country, has recently uh, gotten a surge of the water levels rising. Now, this has affected many areas in the country. Of course, it's affected lands and wetlands in particular. But today I'm going to talk to you about uh, Masaka in particular. Most of you may not know about this, but in 2015, around June, President Museveni uh, set up what's called Masaka Industrial Park. Now, Masaka Industrial Park was set up to provide jobs to people in Masaka because Masaka is still a developing town. So most people in Masaka are unemployed, they are just small scale agriculturalists and agro growers, plants and, and they do small scale farming. Now Masaka Industrial Park was supposed to set up jobs and this was in conjunction with China French African Association. So of course this was a match between the, the Chinese government and the Ghanaian government. Now, when it came to when it came to about 2016, when the industrial park was supposed to be set up, the works were delayed because the Ghana Investment Authority was involved in this under the under the Ghana Investment Authority Act, and also uh, it was set to begin in motion. Now, this industrial park has been delayed. And as we all know, creating jobs for Uganda is a very essential thing. However, at what cost does it come? Because, as we all know, wetlands are are part of the wetlands are part of the nation. Now, Article Two Thirty Seven, Clause One of the Constitution provides that the government of Uganda will protect wetlands. The part of Masaka where the floods affected Masaka region is part of a wetland and part of flood plains. This this particular area, which is called Kakata sub region, has been greatly affected by floods. And this is the same area where the industrial park is being set up. Now, the question I want to pose to you viewers is that is setting jobs for Uganda. The question I want to pose to you is that is creating jobs in Masaka in this industrial park. Is it worth is it worth destroying our future wetlands? Because in this area in Kokakata sub region, where the industrial park is being set up, the flood affected both the road leading. So so that should be the question for that day. That should be the question we should ask ourselves. So feel free to drop a comment, drop a like. And feel free to subscribe. I remain yours truly, Erika Uma. Have a nice day.